So far with the code that I have, uh, everything seemed to be going well, at least within uh, WebKit, which is what Chrome and uh, Safari use to render stuff. But when I previewed my that same layout in Firefox, it had some weirdness up top over here and a scroll bar happened and then I also saw that in Internet Explorer I mean I didn't even have the same problem I just didn't have my my text aligned the way I wanted it to now um, this is a bit frustrating right because this is just cross-browser compa compatibility issues and now I'm just sitting here wondering what I could do um, with regards to Internet Explorer, there are things called IE conditional statements, and that means that I could create CSS that only Internet Explorer will use because Internet Explorer has so many problems that Microsoft actually created that function within the browser. So, well, that's fine because I have a whole different problem over here, which is my uh, the alignment of my div container. So. I, that I could worry about later, but really the bigger problem here is that uh, there isn't an like something an equivalent. Whoops, this is uh, Chrome. There isn't an equivalent conditional statement for Firefox. So basically, something's up. I need to do some kind of like hack or something, if you will, some kind of like trick that isn't as intuitive as it would be. So when I did this, when I bumped into originally this problem, I I went on Google and searched, you know, stretchable background, resizable background, and one of the links that I found was uh, this very useful article. And as you see here, through um, Firefox, is, this is exactly what I want to happen. I have this little bunny as the background, and it's and it stretches according to uh, my browser window and I see that they're implementing it the same way that I am because when I viewed the source of it I kinda scrolled down a bit of this messy code and I see that right here they actually created a background image called rabbit when there there it is um, so the implementation is very similar to what I'm doing but theirs works and mine doesn't What's interesting is actually when I was looking through the source code and I had it open over here on the left because I didn't even bother reading the content over there I see this little note that says the background image will always be a hundred by a hundred percent body size but it, it will only work with a hundred percent by hundred percent HTML body so there's a hint so basically somewhere in their code they're saying that they set the body and the width to a hundred percent and that's what did it so when I looked through this code over here which at first could look a little intimidating I see exactly what they're talking about right over here the first line they have HTML and body grouped together which is kinda what that uh, note is referring to and all these CSS attributes margin padding set to zero I mean we set the margin to zero because it was adding that extra margin over there to the border of the chrome in the image but what we don't have is this width a hundred percent and height a hundred percent actually we don't have the padding overflow and text uh, align left uh, added in there so the text align left, I could see it say right off the bat that we probably don't need because that's specific to text align, not to the positioning of our background image. But I have a feeling that the rest of this stuff is important to us. Um, I don't know, maybe not the padding. I'm kind of questionable about the padding, but it seems like the width and the height for sure we need, and the overflow maybe. So instead of me just adding everything, uh, I always say that you know less code is better. So don't just add all the crap in there, and if it works, you move on. Do it selectively because uh, mo code, mo problems. You know. Um, so let's let's see. I am gonna go into my document and here's what I have currently I have just body so I guess if I add HTML and group that together and I have margin zero padding zero that document said that for sure I need width at a hundred percent and height at a hundred percent and let's see what happens 
Um, going back, well, let me. I don't think I saved it. There we go. I saved it. I'm going to go back to this version, and once I refresh it, uh, it did nothing. Awesome. Um, but now, what's interesting is this concept of the overflow hidden. Now, overflow refers to what happens when there's content beyond the visible window. So you see here, it it thinks it has content more than it does. For example, let's just go CNN.com. I know this is going to have uh, a lot of content. So now, this is the visible content, or I'll stretch it out this way. Anything below this point that's visible is considered the overflow of the document. So once I click here, this is the overflow of the document. So I'm assuming that that's why they have this overflow hidden because now it's going to say don't give us the scroll bar just hide the overflow but I would assume that it's just going to hide this overflow and still keep this white bar which I have no clue why it's happening so let me grab this overflow hidden and bring it into my HTML and body declaration and dun 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 I know it works because I tried it before beautiful Okay, so now at least it's a little more consistent. Um, do you think it fixed our Internet Explorer problem? No. I mean, that would have been cool, but um, no. <laughs> uh, okay, but that's, that's not a problem. Maybe there's something that we're missing and we could dig a little deeper. Um, because you know the margin auto margin left and right definitely works in Internet Explorer but uh, at least we have a little more consistency because now if only Internet Explorer is our problem we could definitely fix that with some IE conditional statements